This evening, we're looking at how the markets and recent unpredictable weather patterns have impacted North Dakota farmers in the past few years. KX News' Guy Gregory has more in this evening's Eye on Ag and Energy. Eye on Ag and Energy is sponsored by North Star Ag. According to North Dakota Farmers Union President Mark Watney, an abundant supply of harvest has helped to push down commodity prices. Usually when the markets are oversupplied with, uh, some commodities are oversupplied with them all fairly well, and the markets tend to move somewhat together. Commodity prices are down across the board for most of the crops grown in the state, which include wheat, soybeans, corn, and sunflowers. Prices tend to remain low when the supply of crops is larger than the demand for them. However, prices are not the only factor farmers have to keep an eye on when planning for the next growing season. Since the weather has been quite unpredictable the past couple of years in North Dakota, especially with last year's drought, some farmers did well, while others saw less than favorable harvests. So this last year, for example, there was a lot of hit and miss. We had uh, drought conditions, but there was small rains that came across. So there was pockets in the state that did actually really quite well. Uh, but we did have areas that stayed dry and their yields were down dramatically. And, and they were at that time frame, we started seeing these commodity prices backing off. So they got kind of a double whammy. After a mild winter with little snow, things have changed once again. As this spring, more wet weather is returned and this has had a different impact on the planting season with soaked fields. Now this spring we opened up with hardly any snow. Everybody thought it was going to be an early spring. And now the, the, the rain has turned on almost statewide. Again, an unknown that nobody expected. And, and uh, I think I'm talking to most farmers are down to their last few crops to get planted. In most cases, there's still some that are having worse trouble. But that that's an issue because now you're... Uh, you know, kind of relying back on crop insurance and what we call preventive plant. Lower commodity prices can mean less income for farmers, and that in turn has led to less spending by farmers on things like machinery and fertilizers. Now, in a year like this, what you tend to do is you fall back on what you know, and you try to get by with what you have, and you probably, um, you know, finding that efficiency of a purchase of another piece of equipment uh, for efficiency when you can't garner back that much of a increase in your price probably makes that not as viable. And, and so farmers start making those choices. Watney says lower commodity prices will continue to have an impact on the income farmers make. However, he does not see North Dakota farmers being hit as hard as some other states, since he says farmers in North Dakota tend to be more conservative spenders. Reporting for KX News... I'm Guy Gregory. Watney adds that Congress is currently working on a new farm bill to help farmers, and he expects they should have that finalized for passage sometime later this year.